Okay, uh, what's up YouTube? I just want to say sorry for the obnoxiously loud breathing. I'm a bit sick right now, so yeah, and I forgot to mess with the mic settings. Yeah, so enjoy the video. Okay, what's up YouTube? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on tables. I'm going to be going over the arrays, and I'm going to be going over dictionaries. Um, so first off, uh, you can create a table by going a you know, local table. So local well i mean so you, it's basically a variable you can have local your variable name i'm going to name mine table equals and then you're going to do the squiggly line brackets um so that's how you create your table your table can have multiple different variables in it such as numbers strings parts anything like that or other tables even um so what i could do is like one two three who one two three random number and then like uh lol um that's basically a table with two an array with two parts of it um the numbers and then the table um now with this you can't really do much uh but that's basically how you create a table um now there is something called table dot insert when you're uh working with tables and so you type it out by table dot insert it's a built in function then the variables for table.insert is, first of all, you type in your table uh, variable name. Then you type in what you want to insert. So I'm just going to type in hey. And then you have that. And then if we, right now, if we uh, look through all of that, we would see that. Oops, I can't even do that. We would, And now we print... Um, Prints like table three, uh, and this will be the third variable. So, because one, two, three, it'll be put into the last part of this table. So, if we did that, it would print eight. Um, so, basically, you can also remove parts of that table. Uh, and so, you would type that instead of table.insert, you would type table.remove. You can't necessarily remove like something like you can't just type in remove hey. Um, you have to type in the number that it is for. So right now I'm going to be new removing the second variable in the table, which is lol. So if we print after this, if we print table two, it would print hey as well because there is no lol anymore. Or um, apparently I glitched that out. Um, What the heck, man? Oh, that's what I did. Um, so, basically, we can just run this, and you'll see it's printing hey. But if we remove the table that remove, we would be printing lol. Um, the reason for this is because, of course, we removed it. <clears throat> and then, on top of that, you can search through your tables by looping through them or anything like that. So what I have right here is a loop that will basically go through all of the different variables in it. And it will see the key, which is the basically the placement in it. And then it will also see the value, which is like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Um, and then LOL or hey. So right now it's just going to be looping through all of those. And as you can see, we have the key, which is 1 and 2. Uh, and the value is hey, and the value is 1 and 2. I remember, we removed lol, apparently. So if I stop this right here, then I have this. It would print all of those like that. Um, so to loop through your table, you do a simple for loop for then the variable names here in pairs and your table name do I need to do this um so that's simple right there if you press uh, ready as you can see we have all of these um in the print and uh, the output now we can uh also get the table length by doing print 
ha uh, hash symbol uh, table. This will print the um, length of the table, which is two apparently, uh, because we haven't inserted anything actually. But you can see that if we go like this, and then you know this that then the length will be four, and I'll print it down there, uh, right here. It prints four. So that's basically how tables work. They have a whole bunch of different uses. You can um, experiment around with that. Uh, they're good for like saving data and stuff. Uh, also, I use dictionary sometimes. I think I'm not even sure. I can't remember. Um, and then let's go into dictionaries. Dictionaries are basically the same things as tables, although you can search through them a bit better. So basically, how you uh, create a dictionary is somewhat like you create a table. You can create a diction. You can create a table like this. Um, local tab equals this. They could do, you know, hey equals hey or hey, and then continue on like that. But it just looks better if you have it like this. So basically, right now, I have it. So we have the local dictionary, and then it goes out one, and then I have in the square brackets. I have the money, this is the key for it, and then this is the value, which is 534, or 5,345, 5, I mean. And we have own stuff, and then there's another table inside this, actually, because you can do tables inside tables. So this is, like, good for owned pickaxes if you're making a mining game or something like that. Um, you can have, like, the player's player stats and then you can see their money their own stuff and everything like that um and then i just have this random one here but basically if we wanted to we could print dictionary own stuffs one so this will go into own stuffs the nice thing about this is that you can search by the name of the ver of the key because they have names so i'm searching for own stuffs and then i'm also going into the number one which is hey so it's printing hey as you can see right here um, I'm going to disable the table script real quick. Um, and then I could do like two or own. Um, and I could also do print dictionary money. And then it also prints money. And that's basically simply how tables work in general. As you can see, it, print, it printed everything there. Um, and I know this is a very bad tutorial, um, <laughs> but basically that's just how tables work. It's not really explaining how to use them much uh, or what they're useful for, but it's just how they work. Um, and yeah, if you learn something, please subscribe so I can grow my channel. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Peace.